Good morning guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I just realised the state of my hair. I need to like properly curl it. Uh, washed it last night, slept on it kind of a little bit damp, but anyway. In today's video, I am actually collaborating with another YouTuber. Sophie from Sophrina, I'll leave a link to her channel down below, is collaborating with me on this video to bring to you some ideas and like a bit of a vlog and haul style Poundland shop and haul. So very exciting because as you guys know, I love doing my Poundland monthly hauls and I did think throughout Vlogmas, I'm like, oh, when am I gonna fit in a Poundland haul? So I figured what I would do is kind of like do it throughout Vlogmas and just bring you around today like a standard typical vlog, but with an added bonus of a big Poundland shop and haul later on this evening. Now Tom is away in Leeds, tonight so he's kind of like hanging around here until about four so what i'm going to do is head into Burnley town center which is like our local town and they've got two pound lands so i'm gonna um go later on this afternoon take you around with me bring you back home tonight and then open up um all the things i got from poundland but firstly what i thought i would do is just go grab some breakfast have a chill morning. I'm gonna open up some of, like, I've not even put Bruce the Spruce on yet. Um, I've got all my advent calendars here. I also had a couple of parcels arrive yesterday, so I thought I would show you those. Thank you again to Sophie for collaborating with me on this video. If you want more ideas and more suggestions on what you can pick up in Poundland this month, then, like I said, I'll leave a link to her video down below and her channel, and you can head over there and watch some of her hauls. She does similar videos to me, like the B&M, you know, the Poundland, Lands, those kind of things that you guys love. So that is today's video. Very excited. And first up, I need to get some breakfast. I feel weak. We had a long line this morning. It's already, what time is it? It's already 20 past 11. <laughs> And I'm only just sort of getting up and getting out of the house. I'm wearing my new Calvin Klein set from Fig Leaves. I featured this in the gift guide for her video. So it's the first time I'm wearing it. And I love it. I love the little like trim of the Calvin Klein there. It's quite subtle. They're so comfy. These ones are in black. I've just put on this Anorex. It's kind of a bit wet and windy outside. Oh, one. I might have one of these this morning. Or at some point today. Gingerbread hot chocolate. Good. Somebody's cooking breakfast. That bacon does look good though. I might just have like two pieces. <laughs> I'm not a penny. I've already had my breakfast. And so now we're just sat having my coffee. Watching a bit of TV. There's a program on about Argentinian steaks. Washing load out drying. So guys, I am about to leave to go to Poundland, but I thought before I do, I would just, whilst Tom's getting ready to leave, because I'm basically taking him to the train station, for him to go off to Leeds, and then whilst I'm there, that's when I'm popping into Poundland. So it's weird to like have had a chill day, but then I'm going shopping in the evening, because I'm the kind of girl that gets up and gets to the shops quick, and then is home by this point already. So I'm gonna be shopping in the dark, so it's gonna feel like late night shopping. So I have a couple of things that I also want to show you that arrived in the post yesterday, but first of all, I'm gonna save my hotel chocolate till I get back this evening, but I'll just read what's behind the door. Coco, the food choice of warriors, adventurers, and pleasure seekers for centuries. So there is goodness in chocolate. Number eight on this calendar. Okay, so behind number eight on the Aurelia calendar, which is the jewelry one, 12 days of Christmas. Oh, it looks like it could be maybe a bracelet. Yes. Okay, so the first day we had like a plain necklace chain. We've also had plain hoop earrings, like really tiny ones that you can add the charms to. And now we've got a bracelet as well. So that's good. All the little charms that I've had in between are interchangeable and can be added to the bracelet, necklace or earrings. The L'Occitane one is next. Here's door number eight. Let's see what's inside. It is a light comforting cream. Let's get it out. There you go. So next up is the ASOS one. Okay, here we go. Door number eight on the ASOS calendar. 
And inside here we have a clear skin daily face wash with tea tree. I love the smell of tea tree. So this is from a brand called Alpha maybe i'll show you a bit close up and then moving on to the look fantastic one and door number eight is here at the bottom Ooh, just hit myself in the face oh my god amazing molten brown and look how generous that size is this is the jasmine and sun rose now i wanted to show you some things that arrived in the post first one being this which arrived in like a massive season's greetings like box which you can velcro open and inside are two pillows these are bamboo memory flake pillows from the brand kiesta i think that's how you pronounce it and they very kindly got in touch and sent me those two cushions they gave me a discount code as well i don't have it on me so what i'll do is i will leave it in the description box below if you're after some new cushions they have loads of different varieties and then this arrived so this is from Herborian. This is their matte cream set like in a cracker and they've got a few different ones that you can choose from. I think four different ones. This is the matte one and inside you get the matte cream, a BB cream and a CC cream as well. I also received this which is another, if you saw my gift guide for her, I did feature some Real Techniques Christmas sets but this is also another one that they've got out i mean this one retails for 35 pounds it's a bit more premium the ruler of the skies buff blend and spotlight so inside there you get the 300 powder brush the 308 blending brush 309 eye perfecting brush and a cosmic sponge last but not least i got this which I had the PR release in the email, so I'll try it and let you know what I think, but it is a vitamin spritz, it's vitamin B12 oral spray. So quite often people, when they have like lack of energy, it's as a result of having an insufficient uh, amount of B, vitamin B12. I'm looking forward to trying that. And now it's time to head off to Poundland. Well, there's not ideal. So I've just dropped Tom off. He's getting the train to Leeds now. Now I can head on into Poundland. But it's tipping it down. Can you hear it? Just the idea of getting out in the rain is like, no. Actually really right there, sacks that they've got. They're only like small ones. I quite like the look of them, like just plain hessian. Oh, so much Christmas stuff. Where to begin? I think this is a good gift, like a scratch off world map and they're only two pounds. I've actually got one of these already. I'm definitely gonna get some stationery for people this year because they've obviously got some new stock in that I love. I've never seen these candles in here before. They've got vanilla, coconut and lime, wild berries and zen garden. I love this idea for like a little personalized gift for someone and it doesn't take up too much space either. At only a pound you can just pop your own Polaroid pictures in. I used to love burning incense and I've never seen these before. I don't have an incense burner now though, but these look cool. I think these are a cute little stocking filler and they've all got little quotes on. Girl power, who runs the world, girl boss. We've got loads of like Christmassy cushions, one with a fox on, reindeers. I think this one's my favourite. They've even got Christmassy jumpers in this one, which has the clothing range, the Pep and Co. And PJs, they're quite cute. Kids range, cosy socks. A good like little stocking fillers, these. Interesting. Oh my god, these look so comfy. Thrown back to the juicy couture days. <laughs> Although I didn't actually have any. I always wanted some though. I also um, didn't mention that I'm on the hunt for some things for Tom's nieces. So I may be shopping a few kids bits. 
Not sure. We'll see if I see anything. So it's no secret who they're trying to dupe. But I'd be intrigued to see what these smell like, especially the oud. Do I get it just to try it? I'm not sure. There's something about perfume being a pound that I can't imagine it being that strong or long lasting, but maybe I should try it. These are quite cool. You can put them in your drink and it adds it like glitter. I'm considering this gold, I've just found it here, so I'm gonna go hunt these down. If you're planning on doing some like cooking for friendly and friends, they have these like Christmassy tins. I quite like this one for like gingerbread. Um, but they also have this red one. Oh, I thought that was gonna fall then. They have these travel flasks, baby it's cold outside, and this might be mold wine, which is funny, but I quite like this baby it's cold outside one. They have loads of like room fragrances, winter wonderland, mold wine, winter berries. But I personally like this one. I'm not usually a sweet fan, but vanilla latte, if you can see that, is delicious. Well, it smells delicious. They have a few like wintry wax melts, and this one I've not seen before. Christmas tree wishes, cozy fire, fresh pine, cinnamon cookie. That sounds like it smells amazing, but I just don't have a wax melter, a wax burner. They've also got mold wine by the fire back there. They have a whole unicorn section, so I think I'm gonna get some bits for Tom's niece here. But this is where the Prosecco glitter is, and these ones are even called unicorn glitter. They have like a few craft items that I think I'll probably end up coming back for potentially when I do like a wrap my presents, because I've not quite decided what I'm gonna do yet for that. We always get like at least one DVD a year and I always think Poundland's a good shout because, well, they're all a pound and some of them are like good ones but they're replay which means they're pre-owned so you still get really like fairly new releases. If you've got a big tree they have these massive baubles which you could use like as feature ones, all sorts of colours. If you're wanting to do like a Christmas Eve box these are five pounds and they're quite big and they're quite heavy as well that's what it looks like built but I did a Christmas Eve box idea I did it in a hamper but I think this would have been better so yeah this um, I think it's really good value for five pound so my dad said he needs a new tie this year and it seems <laughs> there's some interesting things here babe magnet perky pergy Percy bottle stopper Bra, egg, cup, <laughs> aprons, hmm. Another dupe for you to guess which brand they're duping. What are these? Santa cards. Oh, they're like Christmas cards, I think. Reindeer and penguins. And we've got stickers. Loads of wrapping stuff. So many Christmassy treats. There's even got stolen bites down there. Loads of selection boxes. The one pound selection boxes here. Little things to hang on your tree. Santas. For all of the Christmassy treats, I would definitely recommend Poundland. I can't believe they've got stolen and like panettone as well. I wonder if they taste good though. I always love the idea of cozy socks as like a cute stocking filler. Whatever this movie is, I want to see it. Oh my gosh, the cuteness overload. I've heard everyone talking about these, so I am for sure getting some. I think I'm going to go with currant and oakwood. This one says 50 hours and that one's 35. And then they've also got these Christmas mugs. Sparkle all the way. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And that one says the same. Got it in blue as well. Oh, and cute. They've got these with little reindeers on. Quite like these little round mirrors. They've got them in black and white as well. Just don't know where I'd put it. And then this is cute. If like your theme is more greys and whites and things like that, they also have these little cactus which I've never seen before for a Christmas gift I always think like a a nice photo is always like a personal gift and they've got loads of frames if you're after the frame to put it in so yeah I always uh, recommend I actually need to stock up on some more of these at some point 
um, because we have a couple of photos without frames so maybe I shall get these ones I just need to go home and measure the size first but they've also got the A3 ones I mean a pound that's so affordable unlike Desenio or even Ikea you pay so much more for for one that size and they've got them in black as well these are one of the best things about Christmas speculatus or I just have them all year round anyway they've got loads of different gift wrap available I've got the gift bags to this so I might pick this one up or I think I might go with like a, just a brown paper theme this year I like this 10 pack that they've got this is pretty much the Christmas aisle so for all the wrapping and decorations these ones are my fave those two which I'm gonna get some all the tinsel and decorations are still available if you're yet to do your tree or decorations which why and if it's silver is your theme even though I'm more golds are these really necessary merry bin bags I've got loads of like fun little ideas for maybe if you're looking for secret Santa and I love all these little ornaments they're just very gray and white which at the minute I'm trying to get out of the gray and go more cream so it's still pretty though oops oh god what have I done <laughs> and then if you're hosting this year which gladly I'm not they've got loads of like placemats and all the different kind of things you might need to host a dinner for Christmas that's really cute imagine that on Christmas morning if you've got kids I'm sure you've probably already seen that they've got all the elf on the shelf things stockings and sacks I actually really like these sacks I think they're really affordable I always think uh, Poundland have great stationery sets like look how pretty this is work home play planner and they've also got these things like a little calendar love that I think that's so pretty and then all different meal planners study planners weekly planners this is really cute little set of two notebooks again very um, if it'll focus very like anthropology that's what it reminds me of I think I'm gonna get these oh that's even prettier like the marble and pink gold how pretty is that and then they also have it in like a diary form as well 2019 they've got these hampers available which I always think um, is a great idea <laughs> gonna head into Asda um, to grab myself some dinner for tonight and then head home and show you everything that I've got and I'm really zoomed in I've never seen these before but what a genius idea all of the Maltesers you get from celebrations in a box that's amazing three pound maybe closer to Christmas I'll be coming back for that so I just walked through the door so I thought I would sit down finally and show you everything that I picked up from Poundland so there was obviously so much stuff there that it oh, just too much <laughs> too much let's just put Bruce the spruce on yay there he is oh pretty what I'll do is just literally just run through everything that I picked up just take my shoes off oh I'm literally tonight is gonna be with Tom being away it's just gonna be candles lit video to edit Christmas movie on I'm a celeb on tonight dinner in me time I did get quite a bit for Tom's nieces so I'm not gonna run through everything that I did get because there are lots of little bits for kids which isn't really that relative to my channel <laughs> sorry if some of you have kids and then you'll be like oh no you should have shown them but it's literally just lots of like fun little um like hatchimals, hatchimals lols those kind of things what i did get to put everything in i'll obviously individually wrap everything but i've got these hessian sacks which have um a little writing on i really like the look of these and seeing as though we're gonna have these like out until we give them nearer to christmas I thought these sacks would look really nice uh, under Bruce. A couple of selection boxes for them as well. I did pick up this, which I thought could be quite fun. I'm gonna save it till the end. It's a little scratch card. Chose the one with the puppy on. So we'll see if it's a winner. When I decorated this tree, I did show these briefly. I haven't actually used them yet. I put them back in the panel and bag to show you and forgot about them, so I didn't put them on the tree. So I might do that tonight. They are just to fill your own baubles and I've got some leftover chocolate coins that I thought I could put in here 
and hang them on the tree. And then also these, they are wooden shapes and the idea of these is they have a little hanger to maybe go on the tree, but I also thought these would be quite good for using as labels on presents and I could like hand write on them. This is another thing I got for gift wrapping and it is some Christmas twine. I'm thinking very much along the lines of simple brown paper wrapping or white paper wrapping with twine and rope and little bits of maybe sprigs of mistletoe or I'm not sure yet. I need to go on Pinterest for some ideas and inspiration. I also picked up these last year and they were reduced so keep your eyes peeled for these after Christmas or something like these after Christmas because I picked these up at a mega bargain in the clearance last year just after Christmas for 19p each. That one says Merry Christmas, this one says Christmas Wishes. They're on a little rope with a star and again I'm going to be using these to maybe, they could be good hanging decorations actually, but also to on the back write uh, who it's to so it's like present gift wrapping. I also picked up some gift bags and these ones are more for bottles They've got joy to the world here on the label and then on this one it says Merry Christmas and it's like a door This packaging very much reminds me of something more expensive like a Liberty's or a Harrods or something like that I don't know why Joe Malone but it just reminds me of that. There's a little bit of gold foil there as well. So I just picked up a few of these for things that are maybe too awkward to wrap. This I picked up either for the car or in here. It does say it's a mold wine scented bauble, but it looks like a car air freshener. And it, well, it is an air freshener. So I might put it in here. In fact, I also picked up from Asda an air wick plug-in with Christmas cookies. Mm, they were reduced from six pounds to four pounds. Okay, speaking of like a sprig of mistletoe, these um, were in a six pack from last year. So I did use a few last year, but I thought I would just include them again anyway, because I probably will be using them. So at least now you know where they're from. Extra chewing gum, always pick up a pack when I go into Poundland. The last couple of bits are like Christmassy gift ideas. There were loads of Christmas gift ideas, but because I bought for most people. I didn't want to buy more just to show you here. That's why I thought I'd show you on the vlog. But this was a great one, Current and Oakwood. And this is one of their two pound candles. They have a smaller one at a pound, this one at two pound, and the bigger one at five pound. I would have got the five pound three wick one, but the only concern I have with that is that it's quite shallow. So I feel like it's not gonna last very long at all. But I'm gonna burn this and see what it smells like, see if I like it. They also had other Jo Malone dupe smells in there. So keep your eyes peeled for them because I think they're really good value. And then these I love. I think I showed them on the vlog so you might have already seen them but they are two little packs of two notebooks. These ones are pink with like gold um, like paint splatter things on and these ones are pink marble again with gold flecks. But these I just thought were so anthropology and I'm a big fan of anthropology and Urban Outfitters Home so whenever I spot anything out and about that I think that could easily be in there I do tend to get it. it I take inspiration from those shops and then look elsewhere for cheaper alternatives right so I'm gonna scratch away these and see if I've won anything a candle a bell to match three to win on this one Oh, two snowmen and a hat, so I didn't win that. No win. I might make this a bit of a tradition throughout all my Poundland tours, maybe get a scratch card to do at the end. Don't forget to head over to Sophie's channel. Again, I'll leave the link to her video down below if you want more ideas on what you can pick up from Poundland this year. I hope you enjoyed this more vlog style come to Poundland with me so I don't have to buy loads of stuff to show you back at home. I can show you everything in store that I like the look of and then just pick up the things that I really need. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Let me know down in the comments below if you are. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.